Sun Salutation A begins with Tadasana. Stand at the top of your yoga mat with the inner edges of your feet together. Lift the toes, spread them, and set them down. Ground your foundation into all four corners of both feet. Roll the shoulders back, drawing the shoulder blades down the back and slightly toward each other. Engage the thigh muscles so the kneecaps lift. Bring the head slightly back. Collarbones are broad. Fingers come naturally in front of the body. This is Tadasana, Mountain Pose. On the next inhale, bring the arms up overhead, pressing the palms together. This is Urdhva Hastasana. The gaze is lifted, looking at the thumbs. The back of the neck is long and the abdomen is engaged. The tailbone is lengthened down towards the heels. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, swan dive forward, fingers in line with the toes, chin to shins for Uttanasana, forward fold. Bend the knees if you need to. Relax the upper half of the body and bring the shoulders away from the ears. Your face is relaxed, the jaw is soft, and you gaze toward the navel. On the next inhale, come to a flat back, fingers in line with the toes, look ahead. It's important that the sternum lengthens away from the pubic bone, so if your back is rounding like this, bring your hands to your shins or even your thighs to get a flat back and to have the sternum lengthen away from the pubic bone. Kneecaps are lifted, thighs engaged to prevent hyperextension in the hamstring. From Ardha Uttanasana, you can either jump back or step back into Chaturanga Dindasana. To jump, spread the fingers, push your hands into the mat, push the mat away from you. As you bend the knees, engage the core and the intercostal muscles. Lift and charge back, staying light and lifted on the toes. From here, bring your shoulder blades together. Engage the core, roll forward on the toes. Push the mat away from you. On the next inhale, keeping the elbows in towards your side, you're gonna come down as if you're doing a push-up. Only go to 90 degrees, don't go further. Smile with the clavicles. Inhale, roll over the toes, upward facing dog. In upward facing dog, there's space between the mat and the thigh. So really push into the tops of the feet and the hands. Those are the only two parts of the body that are on the mat. Use your core to lift your hips as you roll over the toes and push the mat away from you for downward facing dog. Your feet are hip distance apart. Really take a look at where your feet are because sometimes your hips aren't as wide as you think they are. Push the mat away from you for long armpits. Fingers are spread, pushing into the fingertips and the big finger mounds. Intend for the heels to come down to the mat, but if they don't get there, you can pick them up and bend the knees. But really try to keep that pushing motion of the heels towards the mat. Let your head go, kneecaps are lifted, and when you're ready, inhale onto the toes, bend the knees, and hop forward. We go out of Sun Salutation A the same way we went in. So this is Ardha Uttanasana again, a half forward fold. Bring your hands to wherever you need to be in order to have a flat back and the sternum lengthening away from the pubic bone. Exhale, chin to shins, again bending your knees if you need to. Inhale, arms come up overhead, hands pressed together in Urdhva Hastasana, and exhale, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Let's do it again, this time regular speed. Inhale, arms come up overhead, look up. Exhale, swan dive forward, fingers in line with the toes, chin to shins. Inhale, flat back, look ahead. Exhale, plant the hands, bend the knees, jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana.
Inhale, roll over the toes, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Breathe deep, let everything go. Inhale onto the toes, bend the knees, hop forward, halfway lift. Exhale, chin to shins, fingers in line with the toes. Inhale, arms come up overhead, look up. Exhale, hands by your side, Tadasana.